I'm going to come on to the fletchings now. Um, various different types of feathers can be used. However, for what we want, we're going to use goose feathers, or you can use the turkey feathers here. These are shop-bought turkey feathers, um, come in loads of different colours, they're just dyed different colours, and they're perfectly adequate. But if you want an arrow that really does look the part and goes well, then you really want to use a goose feather. Um, different types of uh, feathers um, from different parts of the wing. This is the primary, this is the first wing feather, and you have obviously one on each side. This is a left wing. You've got a nice thick grease line down here. And the reason why we want to use that piece in it is just to keep that fletch nice and stiff. So when it's in flight, it's not flattening, it's not curling over. Um, it just keeps it really nice and tight. You can quite easily see the grease line, a nice shiny bit there. If I roll it round slowly, you can see the matte colour on the end. And just keep it going round. And it's quite obvious where that grease line is. We'll be making the fletch pretty much out of that piece there. Now these would be the best, best quality feathers. You can also get the secondary primary. This is the second wing feather. Uh, both, uh, both of these are exceptionally good. This is a very good feather here. Got a nice thick grease line again. Um, the way you can tell the type of feather is look for this edge, okay, this leading edge, which is on the primary, there is nothing hardly. The secondary primary, you've got a little bump on here. Okay, these are excellent feathers to use. This will come onto a secondary feather. Again, it's quite good, you've got a nice thick grease line. However, it's a bit more flappy, this feather, a bit softer. Um, again, perfectly adequate, but not quite as good as these two. Uh, again, we're into another secondary feather here. This is actually further down the wing. Um, not too bad, still got a reasonably nice grease, for, uh, grease line, but it is very, very silky. It's very soft and flappy. So you could get away with using it for a flight arrow or something like that. But for the type of military arrow, this ain't no good at all, really. The shot bought turkey feathers. Um, yep, you've got a grease line down them. It's a very narrow one. However, these, are, uh, these fletchings, when you buy them like this, don't take a lot of work to prepare them to put them on your arrow. So, you know, they're very readily available and very easy to use.